Well, my book is about climate change. Climate change is happening. And climate change through global warming. That is, the Earth is warming up. And we know the reason for that. And it's a very big threat to our world. I describe how it comes about and the science that, that uh, comes from human activity. And also what we need to do about it. How it is a world problem. Everyone will be affected, some a little, some a lot. But, and it describes the detail of the impact of climate change on what we love to do. The atmosphere behaves just like a greenhouse does. Radiation comes in from the sun without being uh, changed. Whereas the radiation that's going out gets absorbed, some of it gets absorbed by gases in the atmosphere, of which the most important are water vapour and carbon dioxide. And what they do is block out some of the radiation from going out to space. And as they do that, they act like a blanket over the Earth's surface, increasing the temperature of the Earth's surface. Now, where does the, the carbon dioxide come from? We know where the water vapour comes from because that's there anyway. The carbon dioxide has been there for millions of years, actually, in quite a steady amount. It's been about 270 parts per million for almost all the last few million years. But now it's getting, uh, getting greater because of the fossil fuel burning, which is putting from coal and oil and gas, which is putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And so we now have something like 400 parts per million of green, of, uh, of carbon dioxide. Now that's a big number, and that's made a big change to the amount of, to the blocking, to the thickness of the blanket. And because the blanket is thicker, the Earth's surface is getting warmer, and that's what it's all about. Well, there's quite a lot of things new in the fifth edition, but there's one particular thing which, which is very important for us, and which is emphasised in parts of the fifth edition, and that is the um, the effect of the oceans on this whole problem because the oceans don't warm very fast. The radiation comes in to warm the, the surface of the ocean gets warm quite quickly but the rest of the oceans of course takes ages, takes years, hundreds of years to warm. So and that means that we, the oceans are only starting the warming process and although 90% of the energy that comes in, extra energy that comes in is warming the oceans, it's going to take a very long time for the oceans to warm completely. So that means that if we, if we cut off all the carbon dioxide, all the extra carbon dioxide tomorrow, then the, the Earth wouldn't start to cool. But the Earth would continue warming for lots of years into the future, in fact over 100 years, because the oceans have to warm all the way through, and that will continue for that long time. So it's no use us saying now, let's wait and see if it's going to happen, because we can't stop it when it happens. We can't go back on it. And so we must get on with it now and, 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 uh, and stop burning fossil fuels and stop increasing the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as fast as we possibly can. Otherwise, we're in for very big trouble. Also new in the fifth edition, we've got a lot more about the IPCC reports. There's been a, an important fifth edition to the, uh, to the IPCC reports. That edition is, uh, is uh, as published by Cambridge University Press, of course, is, uh, is 1,500 pages long. You almost have to uh, find somebody to help you carry it. It's so, so heavy and it really is, contains an enormous amount of extra information in greater detail, with much more confidence in, in a lot of it. So that's a very important tradition. And it makes, it makes the whole story as thorough as it, to, almost as it could possibly be. Although there's, we've still things to learn, of course, but most of the important things we've learnt already. What are the consequences of global warming? The first and most obvious is sea level rise. Because the oceans are getting warmer, the water is expanding, and um, therefore the sea level will rise all around the world. And that will be um, 
of the order of, by, by the year 2100, it's going to be at least half a metre average around the globe and possibly as much as a metre because it's not just the warming of the oceans, it's also the fact that we're having melting of the glaciers and some melting of the ice caps which will bring extra water also into the oceans. And of course, people near the, living near the oceans are very well, well aware of this already. For instance, in Bangladesh, um, something like 10 million people live below the one metre contour, and where are they going to go? And there are other countries around the world with the same sort of dense populations and, and also living by the sea. So it's going to be a major issue around the world of where pe lots of refugees, many more than we're having at the moment, it's going to be a very big problem for the world. There will also be more heat waves around the world, big heat waves, and we've had quite a lot of those recently, which have been a problem in many countries. And in addition to heat waves, we're going to have a more intense hydrological cycle, um, which will um, tend to bring more energy into, the hydro in, into this hydrological cycle, which drives the storms and the floods and the droughts, which will also occur around the world in greater intensity and also more frequently. And those are all very serious issues. Well, what the book tries to do is to deal with the whole issue and with all its complications in different areas, different areas of science and different areas around the world. And, um, and put it all together so that it's readable and, and it's connected and, it's, um, and it doesn't have any mathematical equations in it, so I've enabled people who don't know much mathematics to, to actually deal with the whole issue too, or try to get a picture of what's happening everywhere, and a serious picture because it, they're all very serious events that are going to happen. Well, the message is quite a very broad one in all, all sorts of ways. Climate will have very big effects on everything around the world. On people, on the land and the ocean, on crops, on plants, on animals, on insects, in fact on the whole of creation.